Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique Game Terrain. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is a painting video. This is a sneaky one. We do Monday painting video every week, but as voted on by you guys. But I try and get some sneaky painting videos in here and there, because if I just do one a week, that's 52 a year. That's only 52 models slash units on a year, which is not enough. So for all my regulars here, guys, I feel love, thank you very much. I'll see you in a second. So what my painting today, you would have seen by the thumbnail, is the Chaos Space Marine Land Raider. But I've already, uh, normally I have the, the, the model in front of me, what I'm doing. But I actually filmed um, myself putting the uh, hatches on and the Havoc launcher and all that sort of stuff. I showed you guys how to do that. And then I used it in the game and now it's undercoat ready to be painted. So I haven't got it in front of me now because... The next bit you're going to see is me showing you how to put it together. So once I've done that, we're going to come back with the airbrush and start airbrushing it. And because it's going to be Michael Korn, so I'm going to give it give it some a run through with the airbrush, and then I'll come back to you after that. So as part of this 12-hour painting challenge, I need to finish fixing this land radar and get this a good spray down. So I feel I'm going to raid through the bits box, but I said, okay, now let me just. Take a few bits off of here and just work away from here. So the first thing I'm going to need are these hatches. Just little bits that go into the holes there. So there's one. The second one. Some actually amazing bits and pieces here. I'm actually going to take, I don't know if I should put that plate there across the front of here or not. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, I'm going to clean these two bits down and get these pieces ready. Right, so I didn't realise when I put this together, before I decided to come in and customise, you know, the cow's pieces and everything else, that in the instructions... It has all the bits and pieces for these guys, the Hunter Killing Missile and all this and that for Space Marines. It doesn't have the Chaos Space Marine stuff on there, so it's pain in the hole. It has bits for the guy on the side here and a few bits and pieces, but nothing nothing too tasty. So I'm going to, this is a, the uh, this is where the Stormbolt goes mounted. So you can see there's, there's one hatch there, there's three little bits there, there's three little bits that side. Let me spin it around so you can see. Three little bits that side should just sit on like so, yeah, and then that will just sit on one of these ones, this one or this one. That doesn't matter which one, I don't think. And then the storm bolter, there's two halves to it, okay. So there's two holes, a hole goes either side. And it should. Okay, I'll show you. So this halves go. The pin goes in the hole there, and then the two halves come together. To give you a stop You can see I haven't cleaned that down properly yet because there's still mold lines on it. But that's that's how to do that. So I'm going to crack on with that and glue that into place, and then I'll come back with a havoc launcher. All right, so the havoc launcher. So we start with one of these pieces. Now you can see on the back of these, there's a funny little shapes. You see the funny little shapes that side? And there's different shapes that side. So the ones at the bottom there, look like they line up with them ones. It just slides in there. Turn it around, it doesn't quite go in the same. So that's very straightforward. The other end's the same. So one end goes in, doesn't quite line up, switch it around. And it goes in. So what we do is the top piece then comes over the top like so. And then this one the yoke. There's two pins on the inside that just slots in to there. So then you have the habit launcher. And then 
this flat, so that glues onto there. And that's how I'm going to sort that out and then come back to the next piece. This is kind of the Michael Korn, I've taken the corn right one off. And there's a slab bit over the top here. I'm going to go across the top of the Emperor's symbol. And what I do is got some plastic glue. You can see it's here. Yeah, so I'm going to just run some plastic glue just along that to melt whatever's left of the of the uh, Royal Imperial Quiller. So that'll be virtually gone when it comes to when it starts drying. I start painting it, that'll be gone. So this guy's going to go in here. So I need to sort out a hatch for him. Right, so all I've done now is add those little bits on there. Use those two bits as a guideline. And that's it. Put the lid on there. I actually had to snip it off. So I think those two bits were going to this one. That's hence why there's three missing. Behind. I know. But anyway. <clears throat> it's on now. It's not gonna, you're not going to notice anything. It's not going to matter. So before this guy eats away more of the into more of the 12 hour painting challenge. I'm going to go get it sprayed down ready. Now I could have gone over the top and just put chains and spikes. And you know. I'm not going to do that. Because I just want it done. So you realise there's a thing that's gold there. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So you get him done, sprayed up, and crack on with the rest of the painting challenge. Right, so here we are. As you can see, some people are going to ask questions, why, is there, why did I give this tracks a little spray down as well? Because when I put the silver over the top, the red's going to come through here and there. Same with when I do the gold over the top, some of these symbols is going to look really nice. I think in all reality, when I, was, I even looked at the playback of the Hyperlapse uh, Speed Up filming, but I should have really just filmed spraying one side, because the other side the same, but just, I don't know, here's what it is. So now I've got three colours on the wet palette. I've got some beaten copper, some lead belcher, and some rich rama. So I'm going to start with lead belcher, and I'm going to come in, and I'm going to just give this all, see I've watered it down, really, really watered it down. So it's going to give me a nice, nice little red coming through here and there. Go do both tracks, both sides. I'm also going to do, maybe I should have got a casing as well. Yeah, I should have got a casing. I have to do that afterwards. I do like things like that. I'm going to pick out the guns. Let's give the guns a quick dry brush with some silver. I'm going to do all those bits and pieces. This bad boy on top. And then I'll come back to you when I've done all that. What I'm going to do now, actually, I'm going to quickly, you can see what I've done in the front here. Giving a quick little dry brush of the silver. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just try and get a flick the edges of it, sharpest most edges. To give me like a damaged metal look. Not too much. Just especially along right here. Just trying to give it. Just breaks up the red a good bit. As you see, big red ma red mass coming towards you. No, don't know what it looks like. So we'll just give this a little Yeah, it's just gonna give it, make it look like it's just wearing away. I'm gonna crack on with that. So here we have it. It really just does break it up really nicely. Yeah, it just make it look like it's just worn away and been used and I should have sprayed it silver first of all before I brush, but it doesn't matter. This here, yeah, I didn't do this. Well, obviously I did, but I mean, like, I didn't do it intentionally. 
when I was doing something, must have just just flicked over and just. But it doesn't matter. It looks looks good. Now I'm going to come in with some Retributor armor. Unlike most cow swings with the gold trim and all of that, there's only some of these bits that I need to pick out. But I've also done the, the lights to seal because they're going to come in some contrast paint with them afterwards. So with the Retributor armor, I'm going to pick out things like this. Corn symbol. These guys are going to get one side with it. Again, this is really going to break it up. This bit on this on top here is going to be done. One little bit on the hatch here, one little bit on that side is going to be done. There might be a few bits like that bit there. You know, just a few bits here and there to break it up. I don't think there's nothing on the guns that are going to need to be done. This little symbol at the back here. As you can see, I had to put some corn red on there because I forgot to do that bit with the airbrush. So I'm going to do those bits and they're going to come back to you afterwards. Right, so now, so we can see it looks, that makes a big difference, doesn't it? Just breaks up the silver and the, the gold and everything else. And now I'm going to come in some beaten copper. This is not a, a big job. I'm just going to come in and get a copper pipe in here. Not much, that much of a noticeable job, but for me, it just breaks up a little bit more. Might be able to see a bit on this one because it's sun's out, gun's out. I'm going to do this side. And then someone will say, Why don't I just do why don't I do this pipe underneath? I don't want to do that one underneath yet with this copper. I want to do a totally different colour that really stands out away from the copper. Yeah, I like these skulls. Just so they really stand out even more. The only thing disappointing with this Chaos Space Marine Land Raider, this is a Chaos Space Marine Land Raider. But it's not a big issue because it would be like we're treading over the Imperium type type you know scenario. But and then when I put this on, there's the Imperial quill underneath. You can, you can just make it out. It's not a big issue. And there's a couple of skulls there. As you can see, it's not really stood out from the from the red. But it's not a big issue. It just it's a subtle. Yeah, it's just a subtle. Let me move the light up a little bit. It's just very subtle. So now what I need to do is decide what colour. Actually, no. I'm going to come in with some of this beam copper still. Now some of you can say, oh, we can't get beam copper. You can use any copper colour. I'm just going to get these little bits here. And it's going to break the missile pod up a little bit, or to have it launch, I should say. Which was very, in the last game uh, against Mark and the kit with his Chaos Knights, I was a bit disappointed because when I actually looked at the rules, it's the same uh, frag type missile they fire. I was kind of hoping they'd fire crack one as well, so I could actually just cut, start firing some crack shots off him. But, um, you yeah, know, I'm going to come back in to you guys in a minute with a once I've decided what kind of I'm going to do the pipes. Right, so I'm actually come for some of this cyber white green. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. On the wet palette. Now this is an airbrush paint. Air Hobbies had a heap of these on sale, reduced to clear, um, a while back. And I just went a little bit crazy and picked up a heap of them. It's the first time I've opened it, first time I'm going to use it. So, I think to myself, if I use it, I don't like it. It's only a little tiny piece on a model. If I do like it, then they'll be like, oh, okay, that's a good colour that could be used for something a little bit bigger. And I like it so far. 
Again, that could be because of the red background underneath it. But that looks pretty cool, actually. So I'm going to carry on do the rest of them and come back to you again. Right, I absolutely really like that. It's absolutely really lovely. It's a really nice green. It's come out really well. I like it that much. I've actually done the lights as well and the missile pods. Absolutely really like it. Um, I think that's going to be my new, my new color to do things like that. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Um, that's a blister straw that's nearly ready. Really, nearly ready to be added back into the paint, paint vote, voting vote. So, really, there's not much more I can do. This is about already, but there's not much more I can do to this to make it beyond our readiness. Now, I could have done the silver work um, afterwards, but I didn't, didn't seem to need to do that. I think I might have gone over the top a little bit here and there. I don't know. But the only thing I know for sure, I'm going to come in with some Juku Violet, which is a shade. A shade brush, which has virtually had it. Stick with a rock. And I'm going to wash these. That's what I'll show you what I'm doing. Wash these down with Juku Violet. And what I'm going to do is actually wash down the top of this missile pod just to give me a, a slight purple tint to it so it's not just one big silver blob sitting on top of the, top of the tank. You hear that? That's the brush. That's where the brush is. Look here. There's no, no flow on it or nothing. No, not flow, no flexibility on it. I need to get a new one of those. So now, for all intents and purposes, this bad boy's done. I mean, you could. One thing I love about cow's vehicles. And Chaos Armies in general, especially with these vehicles, you could add so much to it. You could go literally go over the top. And I mean, literally over the top. You could take the old banner or the other banners that you have. You could take the wrong guy. So, say like this demon there. Yeah. Let's say I was making this Slaneshi and I had, because these guys come with two different banners. So, I was making these Slaneshi, uh, Slaneshi Land Raider, Rhino, whatever it is. I could take the top of the banner, slip it say from there, and then glue that in at the back, or glue it in the front here or something to make it really, you know, just glue it at the back here. Coming down this rail to make it really stand out. I could take things like extra heads, because sometimes demon hits have extra heads and just glue extra heads all over it. I could take, um, like I was already thinking about the Dissension one, and I've got a couple of the old lead screamers. But they won't. The problem with the elderly screamers, they're meant to be on a flying stand. But because they're lead, they're not balanced perfectly. So after a while, they end up coming off. You move them and then they fall off. And it's, oh, and the little bit would always break inside the bit that the flying stand holds onto. So uh, I was even thinking like putting one on, on one side and one on the other side. And just, you know, something crazy, like something crazy, crazy like that. I mean, there's so much you can do with the chaos vehicles. It's just... Your imagination is your only limit. You get some green stuff in there, some heads are just like bursting out of it. And oh, but anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I was meant to have this guy done before the battle, but it never happened. So I'm glad it's done now. Thank you for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button because it costs you absolutely nothing and helps the channel out in a massive, massive way. 605 subscribers now which is absolutely amazing guys thank you to all of you turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything everyone smash the thumbs up button because that triggers youtube share this video with more and more people 
and any comments or questions, chuck them below. Until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.